What's up, YouTube? I'm John. I'm dead. What do you want to call me? And, um... I wasn't going to make this video just yet, but, uh... It is Sunday, May 7th, as of recording this. And, uh... The 6th, I... Went to a... <clears throat> celebration of life for my best friend, who was also my roommate here where I live for better half later half of 2019 um before he moved to Arizona to be closer to family he was a paraplegic or sorry quadriplegic and uh March 1st he passed due to well, I mean, illness, of course. So that was that. It was good to see people that, that I hadn't seen in like three years. Almost four years at this point. Um, it was tough. For obvious reasons. I mean, especially when you get to the conversation, you're talking like memories and stuff. It's like... Yeah, but I did it, and I only cried like four times, so I'd say that's doing good, um, but it wasn't hard only for that, but I had also found out that morning, the 6th, um, that my cousin had um, <coughs> taken himself. If you picking up what I'm putting down the day before. And you thought <laughs> I thought that me and the roommate were close. Like he that dude was my uncle. Spiritually, of course. Uh but my cousin. That hit. We went to school together. We grew up together. We crept around, BS, just had that bond together. We uh, would always joke and talk about putting nitrous on my previous wheelchairs, which were manual. <laughs> so putting like the tanks on each, on either side and uh, setting them off. Yeah, he was a uh, mechanic fanatic. Essentially. I don't know when, when I'm going to post this. It might be... B before the funeral or after the funeral. Uh, it'll be before I post all my reviews, reactions, all this stuff. And my main channel videos. I just... Uh, <clears throat> if you have anyone that is struggling with mental health, physical health, anything, don't scam. Be there for them. And if you yourself are suffering, seek help if you can. I know it's hard. Because... He was struggling mentally due to some things that happened. I, we won't touch on that for reasons, obvious reasons. But if he just reached out to any of us, who knows? Maybe he'd be here, maybe he wouldn't. And I talked to his brother, and he stated that he didn't try, reach out to anyone. And I, I have to reach out to his dad to see what's going on, but... Oh, God. <clears throat> so, if you see in my Insurgents playthrough, I just said, I have to go. That's why. 
<laughs> and I'll state it in that video too. I'll, I'll be like, hey, this is what happened. Uh, so this will go into that. Or whichever way. I don't know. But talk to your loved ones. Be there for them. Seek help if you need it. Because at the end of the day, all it's done is hurt so many people. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to get out of here before I, you know, uh, just... Have a good one. Hey y'all, uh, this is just conjoining with another video that you'll see, um, talking about my cousin and, and my friend and stuff. It's been... About a month. I had to check. Uh, it's been about a month or so. Uh, obviously I'm back. <laughs> but... I wanted to make this part of the video just to say that it's hard, you know, losing people in general and going to their funeral celebration of life, whatever you do, two in times that basically time span of a week. Because that one, it was one Saturday, then the next Saturday I had to go to that. And it was tough, obviously, just in general, but like, um, my friend was a former roommate here. I can't remember if I said anything, so if I did, I apologize for reiterating, but he was my roommate for a short time here, moved out to Arizona to be closer to his family. He was quadriplegic, uh, and, uh, just health took a turn. And he knew he wasn't going to make it. Uh, so. And I had just talked to him, actually, this past December. Uh, just about stuff in general. And it was tough. It's hard. But then, like, no. Did I talk to him last? No, I think I talked to him in, like, January even. No, I don't know. One of the two months. Either way. Um, and then my cousin. I also saw him in, like, last year like late last year i want to say that was december and uh i talked to june who was the guy, my buddy uh in january february but still either way and then my cousin going through a lot you know he just couldn't have it just did what he thought he had to do and it's unfortunate, uh, but I'm hanging in there. I mean, it's, 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 it's hard, <laughs> uh, but what can, what can you do really? I mean, just be there for the family. Um, a mutual friend of ours from high school, uh, made some pictures like framed pictures and then made out some pictures with him on it uh that are actually really cool uh there's two in my in the windowsill right now that are uh semi-transparent so it's like shining through blue and the other one's like it's blue border uh border uh frame and the other one is red frame and um she, they her and her boyfriend who i didn't even know they were dating. Uh, that that was my best friend for ever. <sighs> for like the last f fifteen years, uh, came over. We talked a lot, just about stuff. It was good. Um, <clears throat> it's still hard, obviously. It doesn't get easier. You just find ways to deal with it. That's about it. Uh, 
But I basically grew up with my cousin, essentially. And that was just... Yeah. So... This isn't anything. It's just a serious note. It's not... Whatever, I mean, it's personal. (sighs) So... If anyone comments on this with hate or trolling, you will immediately be blocked. I'm not playing around. I'm tired of it. On here, on TikTok, just everywhere. It's so stupid. Like, leave people alone. And it's stupid crap like that that makes other people feel worse and do the things that they do. This wasn't one of them, but it was a baby mama drama, and just, she was trying to keep his daughter away from him. But still. Love others, as you would yourself. And if you don't love, and if you don't love yourself, just leave people alone. Like, what did we, what did anyone do to you? Nothing. So, but, otherwise, keep your loved ones close, because you never know how long you've got. That's basically what the message is right now. I'm just, (sighs) anyway, I'm going to get out of here uh, for this one. This wasn't the video that I was going to make. But I saw in my uh, lineup that, oh, I forgot to touch up on this one. But I'll make a separate video. Because <laughs> that was more related to the other topic. Obviously, it's the same day because shirt. But yeah. Um, just keep your loved ones close. And for those who have gone through loss like I have I'm sorry that's it um, I'm gonna get out of here though um, I'm gonna make this other video and then I'll post all three back to back to back well I posted the one earlier but <laughs> anyway have a good one peace